So my name is Tristan Vouguea. I'm the CEO and co-founder of TWICE. At TWICE, we build exoskeletons. These are devices that help people stand up and walk again. The products we're building help people overcome physical limitations that they're suffering. That means we really care about people doing the actions and the activities that they really want to. In the end, our ultimate goal is to let people recover from neurological conditions, to become more independent, but also more included in society and participate in the activities they really care about. You know, as a person who grew in Lausanne, I am in love with the city. I love sailing on the, on the Lake Geneva, on the Le Mans, but most importantly, we have access to a huge bank of uh, talent from EPFL. Being able to recruit um, worldwide um, exceptional talent is really important for a company like ours. And being in Switzerland in general is a, is a huge advantage for that. I owe a lot to the EPFL alumni network. Um, one of my first encounters as a founder was with Ronald Loos, my co-founder, and he's also the dad of Martin, one of our pilots. And I met him at the um, EPFL Alumni Gold event in bois a couple of years ago, and uh, that's really been one of the most important encounters I did during my, uh, uh, my journey as an entrepreneur. I owe a lot to these um, events and to this ecosystem. And I think it's really important to feel that you're not alone in the ecosystem, that you're not alone in this type of uh, hard uh, decisions making processes and, and, and hurdles all the way through uh, as, a, as a founder. At TWICE, we're committed to help patients recover and help patients access life. And we're doing just this making sure that every single time, every single minute we're spending is helping people reconnect with their community. And we have a long roadmap of products that are going to uh, widen the range of people we can address with our technology and improving ever more, making sure that people can have more independence, more freedom in their life. And down the road, who knows, maybe not even need an exoskeleton anymore.